I wanted to ask you a little question today. What would you like to hear in this moment that would help you to go forward? What would you like to hear that would make you feel better, feel encouraged, and just give you some trust in yourself in this very moment? Think about that for a little while, and then we will create this circle of encouragement. That's what I'm going to call it. We will write our little sentence here in the middle and use beautiful colors and play with some inks around it. And then you can put this little piece of paper on the wall if you like, or maybe on the fridge, or maybe by the mirror, wherever you will see it every day, and you will feel that little encouragement. So you will learn how to encourage yourself. So we're not depending on anyone else to give us encouragement and we can do it ourselves. And art is a fantastic way to do that. I'm going to grab a pen and I will write my little sentence here in the middle. This is what I want to tell myself today. It can be very simple. It doesn't have to be philosophic or anything like that. Just anything you like, anything you feel like in this very moment. I realized that I don't have a cup of water in here, so I might use this. And I'll use my spray bottle water. I will use a big brush. You can use anything, anything you have. And I will create a very wet, watery circle around this. Just use a lot of water to get it really, really wet. I'm working on watercolor paper, which is fantastic for this purpose. It can handle quite a bit. That seems quite wet, so I'll leave it at that. After your circle is ready, I would love for you to think about what kind of colors would cheer you up. What would you like to see here with your powerful sentence or with your powerful statement? What would help you? So for me, example, this is one of my absolute favorite colors. So I'm going to use my Indian yellow ink. This is really fun with watercolors or inks. So I would recommend that you use that for this exercise. I will put quite a few drops so it gets really nice and thick or pigmented because it will spread in a very beautiful way. And I want it to be quite visible. I'll probably come back with my yellow again. But this time I'll pick some neon yellow. So this is very bright. But there's some dry bits falling on my paper. That's okay. Just keep thinking what would really cheer you up. So I would love to encourage you to work very intuitively and don't plan too much. Again, sap green, one of my most favorite colors. I will open it here this time. So I will use this here. The fun in this is that we don't really know what it's going to look like once it's dry. So it's a little bit of a surprise. I've got some neon green, so I will use this next.
I've got a different kind of yellow. I might try this next. So that's very lovely, isn't it? There's quite a bit of water here, so it'll be really interesting to see how that bit dries. I'll mix this area a little bit with this new yellow that I found. And this as well, there's quite a bit of water here. I've got some gold, so I will put that next. See if I help this to spread a little bit. These are a little bit thicker often, so let's see what that says. There we go. This one is copper. I'll just put a tiny bit of this too. Not too much. I'm just adding a drop of water there to see if I can get these to spread a little more. All right, and there we go. Now I will leave this to dry and show you what it looks like later on. Before that though, I might add a little bit of green here to make these bits a little bit stronger. Okay, doke, there we go. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is what it's looking like the next morning. It's not completely dry yet. There was quite a bit of water on the paper, but mostly there. And it's just really lovely. I'm really enjoying how the colors have mixed together all by accident. I just love playing with the inks like this. And as I mentioned before, watercolors would be fantastic for this exercise as well. This will be definitely going on the wall or on the notice board, just as a lovely reminder for myself each day that I got this. I would love to hear what kind of an encouraging statement you came up with and see your artwork. So please do share and happy creating.